Here we go. Hey, it rolls pretty well, man. Uh, don't, it don't turn. <laughs> Welcome to part three of our lawnmower revival, which has escalated into, let's just slap a 50 horsepower engine on it. Hey, Ike. What's up, John? What are we doing today? We are building a 670cc, 50 horsepower, monster mower. What could go wrong? So last time we tack welded the engine plate on and we welded on our Go Power Sports Springer spindle kits to kind of update the, uh, the front end design to make it a little safer at speed. So now we have this rack and pinion set. We need to install it, get the steering all worked out, and then move on to uh, live axle stuff. The goal is to get this rack and pinion as far backwards as we can. So uh, this right here has like the, the least distance to travel because the more distance we have here uh, is the more strain we're gonna have on our steering. Straight up and then, yep. Here we go. Look at that. Awesome. Not perfect, but not bad. It'll do the job. All right, let's see if it fits. Pretty good, All right? Yeah. I think we thought it would go in a little bit more, and it might still. Mm, nope, uh, that's it. I guess we're gonna have to trim. Just a little bit. Just a little bit on both sides, it looks like. Yeah. We touched up our cuts in the chassis, and I cut this piece of angle iron to use as a bracket to mount our rack and pinion to. So. Ike just made a couple places to drill our holes in, and it's going to be unboltable. All right, I guess I need to bolt this thing up tight. We can weld. And then we can weld it in place. Leave a comment, guys. Whose looks better, Ike's or mine? Mine looks better. No. By the way, guys, that nice rack and pinion you can find at gopowersports.com. It comes with a steering rack, that steering shaft, universal joints, and adjustment tie rods, and this adjustment sleeve. You can find a link in the description. That thing looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it looks pretty good in there. Much better than our first... Well, we're not done yet. <laughs> no, we aren't done yet, but, but already I think it's much more promising. Hopefully it works better than what we... So, I've been doing some measuring, and I believe that we're going to have to chop the adjustment collar down to three inches length total. So All right, here I go. Yeah. We had our rack and pinion sitting in the frame really nicely with the tie rods and everything hooked up and then we realized that the steering radius would be really terrible. So we're gonna fix that by moving the rack and pinion farther back on the frame and getting it closer to the center of the spindle. The factory front axle had a hole in it that the knuckle fit into really well and we can't get it in anymore so we're gonna need to cut out so the universal joint will actually sink in there and we can push the whole unit back. We're going to cut these channels out to go all the way to these bolt holes so the rack and pinion will go backwards and then we also need to use the plasma cutter to cut that out. Is 
Just boom. How much drift angle do you think we're gonna get? Oh, I hope we get lots of drift angle, man. It's gonna be some, uh... A lot of turning. Yeah. <laughs> Never. We had to shorten these sleeves because they were too long. The stock length, we would have had crazy toe out. So, had to shorten it. All right, yep. on to steering. Yep. Man. We're gonna have to cut right here and right here. Yeah, got too much out of it. Dang it, Bobby. Whatever. Hi buddy, how's it going? What's up man? You hiding anything? No. Nothing at all, bud. So while the front end is nice and accessible, I'm gonna go ahead and set our toe. So with this angle finder here, I have kind of a baseline or control or whatever, and it's actually like, it's not quite zero. It's maybe a degree off that way. There it is. So, taking that into account, I'm gonna stick it right here on the spindle. And actually, I already set this one, so it should be the same. So, I'm gonna take my channel locks and uh, tighten down on these nuts. Channel locks, and let's tighten down. All right, cool. So toe should be good to go. It's one less thing we have to worry about. So we have caster set, that's not adjustable. Camber set, not adjustable. And now toe, which is our one adjustment. But we shouldn't need other adjustments because we put 10 degrees of caster in already. The alignment's done. Now Ike is gonna run our steering shaft up through the chassis to uh, the seating position. So plasma cutter, gonna make that a little large and we need to cut into our Go Power Sports yep. engine plate too. Yep. got this in place. This is the collar that we cut out of there. I want to clean this up and I want to weld it here. And I want to put a cross brace and weld it to the cross brace. That'll hold it here. And then we're going to have a rod go straight to where the factory steering goes and a steering wheel. Um, and we don't have to do a brace across. It's pretty, pretty good. What do you think? Hey, that's, I mean, it's like it's meant to be in there, dude. Solid. Yeah. Hey man, 
Nothing's, pretty cool. Nothing's hitting. Nothing's hitting. Oh yeah. Drag mower. That's kind of weak, man. Did I just bend it? I think you did. Do it again. I think I bent it. <laughs> yeah, I think I you did. did too. That's yeah. not good. No, I mean, it'll be fine. Now, how high do you want, we want this? This might be a little close. Yeah, it's pretty high, man. So we got the wheel tacked on and check it out. How many turns we got, man? Well, let me see. There's center. Three quarters. Three quarters of a turn. Three quarters. And three-ish quarters. Oh cool, it's melting the plastic, so I'm making it easier to steer. <laughs> find it. Here we go. Hey, it rolls pretty well, man. Uh, I don't, it don't turn. <laughs> It'll turn. I got the wheels turned all the way. Yeah, oh, she's plowing. It's because it's positive traction with no weight on the front. Well, we're going to fix another, that. It's another rat rod wagon. Well, I mean, we're going to have a battery hanging off the front. Uh, well, Oh, we? I don't know, are we? I don't know. Okay, well, we can put a battery on the front if we want to. Yeah. And the engine is going to be some additional weight. The front suspension and steering is done, so now we're going to go ahead and weld up our motor mount and set the engine on there and trim a piece of the uh, sheet metal of the lawnmower to get the torque converter to fit. Oh yeah. That's all we have time for today, guys. We got the steering completely done. Uh, we had a few hangups with the steering. We, we needed to mount our rack and pinion further back in the frame, and so we had to kind of redo and do that over again. But it should be pretty safe, relatively speaking, and it looks good. Of course, you can find all the parts we use today from gopowersports.com. And don't forget about our discount code CC10 for 10% off most things on their website. Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for sneak peeks. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Do you even wanna keep saying that? I, I'm gonna do a video eventually. And smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video to help it get seen by more people. And if you wanna support the channel, visit cars-cameras.com to pick up one of our shirts or stickers. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.